Well, welcome back to Fog Football and the Europa League action. Game week one is in. And we got our predictions right. It was one each, Rens and Celtic. And Rangers managed to hold on to a 1-0 lead against Feyenoord. And what game would you like to jump into first? The one that happened first? We'll go, we'll go with the, uh, the Celtic one because we actually predicted the correct score here, so... Yeah, one each. We predicted one each. And it was one each and I don't know, I think 1-1 one, one sort of flattered Celtic. But you can't be great all the time. Yeah, I mean... I think, the, I think the, we did say that, but I mean, well, yeah, we said that a draw Celtic would probably take a draw going into this, you know. Um, that's that's and exactly what I we got. Even if Azure did fuck up for them. the first one, I mean, uh, he was getting a lot of death threats from uh, Celtic fans and uh, on uh, Twitter. But did he deactivate his Twitter? I don't think he did. So for the player to off Azure, like Andy Robertson, like, oh, I mean, that, that, that's a fit for another day, like. But I mean, I think it's. I think Can he change his nationality and get into the Scotland team? Or? What is that? Delete, uh, deactivating your Twitter because I mean tweets. I had told them to go fuck themselves. I just, I've got you the two Champions League finals back to back and won one of them. You a bunch of fucking screws yeah. pricks. That's what I'd have turned around and said. Like, I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't think Robertson was the, you know, captain of the but see, after he on that, like, nah, it's, uh... fuck me. I mean, how do you go from, like, Scott Brown, the guy, I mean, the guy's just a fighter. I mean, the guy that stirred that Rangers fan, he was going to fucking kill him. You know what I mean, you gotta respect that. Gotta respect he he could have like, but I mean, I mean, like we said, if that happened to Andy Robertson, he would have looked at the guy, started greeting, and bolted onto the bus. You know what I mean? So. And we both say that at the exact same time. Yeah, exactly. so it Must be true. Um, it has to Either be. Either and uh, we're both fucking. Celtic's goal came through uh, a penalty, so two penalties, and uh, Ryan Christie made it one each in the 82nd minute and that is the way the game finished and Cluj actually beat Lazio 2-1 so maybe us ripping the piss out of them I mean that, that's blown that group wide open would you not agree like well I mean no, I'll be fair I, I don't I don't think I ripped the piss out of Cluj as much as you did right well hold on we, no, we didn't expect them to beat Lazio right so let's not no we, we, we did not like but I mean it just goes to show you that and I would say that's a bad result for Celtic I think yeah. Celtic would have rather like Lazio three, three dominate points. the group. You know, I think so. I mean, because now if Cluj are competitive, I think we were kind of assuming it would be between Rennes and Celtic for second. But if Cluj are competitive, I mean that's that's Celtic needing three points against Lazio, or else you know they're they're trailing by three. So I don't know. I mean, or you could look at it. Uh, you could. It depends, man. You can look at it and be like, it's not good because. It's gave Cluj three points that Celtic will find hard to get, or you could look at it and go, well, you know, it is good because Lazio have got off to a bad start, and maybe instead of only one spot being available in the group, both spots are up for, you know, fucking. And also, are up for maybe Lazio are just pish, so, I mean, and Celtic have actually got a chance against them. Could also uh, be. Oh well, yeah, I mean, if Clu I mean, you could also use the logic that if Cluj can beat them, we can beat them. Not that Celtic beat Cluj, so maybe you can't use that logic. But regardless, guys, Celtic got a draw. I don't think there'll be anyone too disappointed with that. No. Um, Adger will be happy that he managed to, um, you know, fucking avoid being the, the bogeyman tonight and Chris Day banged in another goal when he got the equaliser. So, I mean, all in all, Bale got sent off. Um, all in all, I mean, I think Celtic will be happy with that tonight. Yeah. So no complaints. Uh, I mean, if you want to leave it down below, if you're not happy, leave it down below. But now should we move on to the? No. Yep. Speaking of another team that will be happy, Rangers. It didn't really matter how they won tonight or how many they won by tonight. The, the main thing was getting three points and getting off to a good start. Because if you want to win your, if you want to get qualified for these groups, you kind of do need to get off to a good start. You need to win your home games, and they failed to do that last season too many draws and uh, they've got three points on the board already so it's a great start for Rangers and uh, I mean it, was a, it wasn't a comfortable win but it should have been yeah, I mean, I think, the uh, amount of chances I think they the the team. Uh, yeah. both teams could have scored multiple goals but I, I mean I, I think it'd be it'd be harsh to say that you know Rangers didn't deserve the win and it was nice to see them get the win just a day after the passing of former player Fernando Rickson uh I think both set of fans, you know, both set of play teams tonight. Obviously, 
were up for it. Rangers being Rickson's former club and Feyenoord, you know, being uh, from his the homeland. Clark it was, uh, the second minute. You know, it was good stuff. And it was, uh, I mean, yeah, it was a real, it was an entertaining game. Like, I mean, I, I switched between it in the United game. United were playing Astana and see the atmosphere difference. Like, so, I mean, it's supposed to be the fear of our dreams. I mean, it was fucking hee haw happening. Like, I mean, I know what it's Astana, but okay. you know what I mean? But it, it, took, it took United 80 minutes to score against Astana. Like, they're fucking pish. But I mean, we could talk about United all day. All that matters is Rangers go off to. A great start by beating Fyrenoid, and I believe Porto beat Young Boys 2-1, which you kind of want, because I think Porto should be dominating this group, because you don't, you don't want Young Boys to be point wait, off Porto. Uh, like. I'm, pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure Celtic beat Astana like 5-0, like, t- like five, six years ago. But no, not that that's relevant, you know, anybody can beat anybody, I guess, on any given day. I will, I mean, but they, I so United mean, seven years ago were fucking winning the league by 20 points, so if you're, if, you're looking at, if you're looking at it like that, you know what I mean? I mean, fuck. So. So we might not have got the score lines correct in both games, but we did get the results, so I mean, we're happy enough with that, and pretty sure both Glasgow teams will also be happy with the performances. I don't, I don't really see any anything else to say, Steve, anything to add to it? Oh. No, there's no negatives. I mean, the only negative is you could say, what Rangers should have won by more. It shouldn't have been as nerve wracking. And for Celtic, well, maybe they could have capitalised more on the, the the guy going them going down to ten. But that happened later on. So, but I mean, I think everybody offered a win, and a draw, especially the way it went. Not a win for Celtic, and a draw for Rangers. I think you couldn't really ask for much more apart from two wins, and it sets both of them up pretty good. Dead fans. Well, hopefully, dead fans into the L last 32. And that is it. There's not yep. much more to say. And, and, and now we turn our attention to the Scottish Premiership over the weekend. Rangers and Celtic both in action. But the big game, undoubtedly, is between Hibernian and. Hearts. It, it could be a, a loser leaves the job type of match. You've seen this in WWE. Loser leaves the brand. It, it could be loser leaves Edinburgh. Come the end of that match, Steve, because uh, you've got both pish. <laughs> Heckingbottom is one. He's like won one game in the last twenty or something. I, I don't know. And and Craig Lafine hasn't won a game in the last fourteen. So I mean, that's he's fucking. How is he not bad, gone? I mean, like. Honestly, I mean, so what if he's like the director or whatever the fuck he is? He's pish. No There's only one man that can get rid of, can get rid of Lafine, and it's Lafine himself. So um, probably going to be around for a while, but uh, who knows? What's your predictions for that one? Well, I don't, I don't know what my predictions are for that one, but I'll tell you one thing: they're both shafting my Comoric relegation bit. Because fucking, I mean, if these two were doing no bad, Kelly would be looking a bit worse. Tell you, I think I bet's beat though. I think Alessio yeah, sorry, was yeah. beginning to turn. Well, Hort, I don't Hort, think they're going to get anywhere. like two hundred to one. Hearts are like two hundred to one to get relegated, or finish last. Finish last. Two hundred to one to get relegated, but four to nine to finish top six. Like, I mean, I know I'd rather have money on. Fucking unfortunately, I've got money on the four to nine link, but I mean, that's what I mean, it is. You'd much rather a quid on that than ninety to get you forty. You know, but pish. Uh, I think I'll, I don't know. Who's at home? Who's at home? I don't even know who's at home. It doesn't matter. Both fucking. Ah, uh, sorry guys for that sigh of relief, man. I just seen that uh, MGH uploaded an Arsenal FIFA in the 20 career mode and he's got 44,000 views and I hate that cunt and that's a bit all I've got and to say. And that's, that's hoovered on every that. fucking fewer right off us. But anyway, um, who's at home? I think it'll be a Hibs win. Ah, I, think I, just, I, I have no fucking faith in Lafayne like. I mean, that's the sad truth. Well, well, I mean, I think most Hibs fans think that Hearts are going to win. They're saying that Hibs can't score. So Hearts only need one goal to win. Right, but Hearts can't Hearts defend. can't he score. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, that's, man. That's supposed to be Craig Lafayne's gimmick. Defend, but can't score. But he just can't fucking do anything. Like fucking useless, isn't he? I mean, I think it's as John Cena's theme song would say, his time is up, and someone you else's time is me. now. And anyway, guys, is that is it. You can't see him because he's that fucking far drift at the bottom of the table. 
Hey right, guys, that is it then. Uh, let us know your thoughts on Celtic Rangers tonight. Do you think uh, results were fair? Do you think both teams will qualify? I do. I think it's going to be tough, but I do expect both Celtic and Rangers to get out of these groups. And uh, what's your thoughts on uh, the weekend's games and who do you think is going to come out of Edinburgh Derby with the three points? That's it. Till next time. Peace.